so hey guys welcome back to another video on vr hacks and in this video guys we are going to talk about the assembly enumerations or we can also say that we are going to perform an exploit which related to a common vulnerability which we can uh, which we see in the service message block protocols which runs on the port 139 so in this video guys i'm going to uh, exploit an assembly enumerations and uh, totally what I'm going to do it's I'm completely doing my creating my own lab and I'm performing every attacks on my own system okay so make sure after watching this video do not perform such attacks if you found such kinds of open ports to and live machines or into another machines okay like if I uh, do not perform uh, these attacks to any other website which you don't own okay so what we are going to do I am just simply uh, I just simply installed my Linux machine and the QoP tricks, which are uh, already vulnerable to SMB enumeration. So, uh, what I'm going to do now, first we'll scan and we'll check that the port is open or not. Okay, so what to do? Simply nmap-sv for the version, p for the port definition. We are going to define the port and the SMB port, which is 139, also it's on 445, but we are going to and 445 we are going to define and we are going to give the IP address of our target machine, which is which is our key op tricks in which already an smb vulnerability exists okay so we'll wait for a few seconds and we'll check on which port uh, our ip is running uh, sorry in on which port uh, the smb uh, vulnerability exists so as you can see 139 tcp port is open and the service which is running is netbios ssn and the version is samba smbd2 to get more in detail you can just simply uh, define the hyphen a for the aggressive scan which will give you the complete details related to this machines okay so as you can see the machine is completely in my group not in domain so as we as we know that uh, the machine is vulnerable to uh, an smb uh, protocol so what we are going to do so we'll just uh, type here samba smbd service message block and the machine is in work group make the notes it will help you in your further exploits okay so so now uh, what we are what our next step we are going to just simply search which come pre-built in the linux kali linux search exploit samba as i told you the uh, the protocol is running samba version 2.2 as i told you how to get the how i got the version basically i performed the aggressive scans where i got to know that the version is running is to samba 2 okay so now what we are going to perform here we are going to use the tranche to open 2.2.0 buffer overflow attacks to check that the vulnerability uh, that we can exploit the machine with the help of this or not so what we are going to do we are going to use the tranche to open and for that we are going to use metasploit to exploit this machine okay so simply I'm going to type here MS MSF console We'll wait for a second until it gets starts So now the next step we are going to what to do we are going to uh, search for the tranche to open exploit which uh, uh, comes in the meta flight. So as you can see there are total uh, five numbers are here sorry not five four uh, exploit Linux Samba tranche to open buffer overflow Linux 86. So the machine which we are the machine which is vulnerable to Samba attack is our Linux 86. So what we are going to use we are going to select machine uh, sorry uh, the option use one. And as you can see here it's saying no payload configured de defaulting to Linux 86. So what we are going to do first we are going to set our R host which is our target machine and our target machine is Kiopatrix which IP is 10.0.2.5. That's it and to get uh, to make it confirm we are going to simply type options so as you can see here our host machine is our target machine victim machine which is 10.0.2.5 which uh, which is vulnerable to SM, uh, samba smb protocols and the r port which we defined 139 and here is our our own machine ip okay and the l port we set for the machine which is 444 now what we are going to type just simply click on the exploit We'll wait for a second uh, to get a uh, to get a handler. So as you can see, uh, the machine, our target machine, is trying to do a brute force. Okay, as you can see, the connection is getting a denied uh, return traffic zero uh, zero XP connection denied connection denied reason died. 
so now what uh, why this coming let me tell you for we didn't uh, set up our payload okay now it what is saying you didn't set your payload that's why it performing a brute force attack to get a session to get a shell access what we are going to do now we'll just simply again type the option of and as you can see the linux is saying uh, in your in our previous we are not able to uh, we were not able to create a shell access but now they are telling they are giving us, us to a payload so now what we have to we are going to do we are going to set this payload set payloads linux slash 86 architecture then shell reverse tcp uh, make sure that uh, everything should be correct that's it now we set our payload now to make it confirm again we are going to type options to check everything is correct or not so yes guys as you can see now we also set our payload options now again we are going to uh, type exploit and we'll wait for a session yeah so finally guys as you can see our command chain special file has been opened and uh, now we are going to simply click here no and I, if i type who am i as you can see root okay so here we successfully exploited the our key operators machine in which the, in which port 139 was vulnerable to samba and in which samba 2 was uh, running so hope you understand guys how smb uh, protocol can be uh, dangerous if uh, if it's running in the older version uh, older version or it's uh, running in the uh, if any uh, exploit vulnerable expo uh, vulnerable uh, like version is running so in our case it was vulnerable to samba 2 so make sure if you are doing if you are performing any scans and if you found the samba version 2 in any live machine make sure do not to perform any attacks this video was here for educational purpose to get you to know how dangerous can this be okay so hope you understand uh, here i'm here we'll just click on the no uh, sorry no not yes and our session has been closed so that's it for today guys we'll uh, meet in another video as of now that's it thank you